I've done the thing, put in my notice at work. I'm leaving on a certain date and everything's already moving, everything's already shifting. It's wild too because um, all of the loss and destruction that have come along with this just intuitive knowing of like, I have to do this, this is my service, this is what spirit wants me to do. It all has created so much space. <sighs> so much space. And also like, you know, just, just being aware that Everything that comes into my life, you know, and ebbs and flows and cycles, everything's just oscillating all the time. Everything that comes into and leaves my life is for a reason. It's because right now, this is what I'm magnetic for. This is what my gravitational pull has, has brought in. And... It's like there's there's so many different things. I mean, um, I wanted I wanted to create this video because I feel like as spiritpreneurs, we get these intuitive hits and then we ride the roller coaster. And at some point while you're on the roller coaster, you start to feel like, Oh yeah, this is the reason why I haven't ridden the roller coaster, why I got off the roller coaster <laughs> the first time. Because um, there's always a part where you feel yourself um, getting a little banged up or um, feeling, I don't know, feeling that deja vu. That's what I'm getting is I'm getting this deja vu. And it's the cycle of... And I just want to presence that there's fear here. And that's why, like, the roller coaster analogy so plays in so well. Because, like, you know, even if you love roller coasters, they're a little bit scary. They're a little bit fucking scary. Um, you know, who would have, th like, no humans at the beginning of, of human uh, evolution, uh, humankind, would have thought that we would, um, you know, be melting down metal and put it into creating giant structures out of it, um, using electricity to push us at really high speeds upside down so that it's strapped in so that we can just have screaming fun for, you know, uh, 60 seconds or 90 seconds, however long a roller coaster ride is. I mean, it's just bananas. Uh, the things that we choose to do with our creativity as humans um, and that's kind of what I'm feeling now is some fear around the deja vu of of using my creativity to to get in like one mode so right now I am creating a lot of, of reels on Instagram and I'm just like reeling it up, reeling them in. And I see myself, I wanted to get off Instagram and just like be off of there completely because I just feel like there's something about it that is so uh, black hole and toxic and frivolous. So it's kind of this combination of like, why are you here? Why are you spending so much time here? You know it's not, you know, um, going to be the, the healing antidote to whatever you're experiencing or whatever desires, you know, you have right now. Whatever intentions you have right now. And, and yet, I find myself um, trying to create... Uh, story stories that are um, relevant and engaging I try to create reels that are that speak to what I'm focusing on at this time and and what I'm what I want to share about so that I can sell towards that thing like right now I'm focusing on intuition and unblocking your intuition is is 
um, you know, the essence of the course that I want to sell. And sharing about intuition is the, the primary focus that I have. But I feel like... I feel like I'm I'm being so narrow. I feel like sometimes as a teacher of something that comes naturally, um, there's like a misstep. There's like a there's like that space in between understanding something and then being able to start at the very beginning, start in beginner mode, and help to teach others that they already know more than they think they do about whatever thing you're you're teaching about you know what I'm saying so I see myself um just like throwing everything I have at this and getting sucked in and that's why I wanted to create this video because I was like you know I really want to um share parts of my journey as a spiritpreneur along the way as I restart because I've been doing this for for several years now I've been a spiritpreneur for several years now and I have been in training essentially learning and teaching myself I have been doing a lot of um, just learn as you go and studying (laughs) studying 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 productivity and um, marketing and um, aligning with, you know, whatever it is that you you want to uh, serve the world with, um, aligning with the service that the people the people need. And right now, it's like I, as I'm saying that, I'm remembering so much of it that I haven't uh, been able to apply because maybe it's just having ADHD. Maybe this is like what what being a spiritpreneur with ADHD is like, is I have done all of this uh, research and I've done so much um, learning about how to speak to your niche market and how to, um, just how-tos, just all of the how-tos. Uh, I know this shit. And yet, I get so riled up as a creator that, um, especially when I'm not, and this is probably, this is probably the actual thing, is I was failing the first time as a spearpreneur because I would get so riled up about a thing that I would go off about it and it wouldn't sell anything, you know, like it, it's... It's not like I'm sharing it for so that other people can connect and be healed by it and be served by it. It's that I was I would go off because I would get the intuitive hit about, you know, speaking on it. But if I didn't create, and this is the thing that I know that I need to do now, and I talked about this in a previous video, is I, I don't know that I need a manager right now because I've been managing myself through spirit, through silence, stillness, and spaciousness, um, going outside into my trailer or just sitting on the grass and meditating. And that would, for me... Um, that would give me the space that I needed to let all of my jibber jabber flow through my head and then sit and go, okay, now that I've talked to myself out in here, let me just step aside and create space for you, spirit. The God within me wants me to do something and I don't know how I I know how I've learned how through all of the um, external means but my inner voice knows which step to take right now which step to take today 
Because I think that where, where, as a spiritpreneur, for me, with ADHD, where I get caught up is, I know, I can see all of the steps. I know what to do. I know how to do it. I know how to do the thing that I have to do. And yet, where to start or, excuse me, how to narrow things down so that it's not just um, a generic version, it's specific to me, it's authentic to me, it's, it's hard to find that as a creator, as, um, excuse me, as somebody who is um, just trying to be of service and gets so excited like a little puppy and then I just, it's like, you know, I'm like ex the excited puppy and then, uh, you know, an idea walks through the door and I just pee all over the floor. I just, <laughs> I just pee all over the floor and, um, you know, the issue with that is um, the discipline that it takes. And people, t like a lot of people talk about discipline, about needing discipline as an entrepreneur, as somebody who, you know, is is running and managing your own business. You need discipline because discipline is what helps you show up with consistency and Consistency is what creates trust in your brand, in your business, in your service, in you. But discipline is what will help the puppy to stop peeing on the floor. All you have to do is you have to practice it every day. And I see discipline as something that is very um, kind of like, f you know, for people in the military. Discipline is for people in the military where they whoop and they, you know, y are yelling at commands at each other and they just fucking do it. They just fucking do it. No matter how hard it is, they just fucking do it. <sighs> but how hard is it really? to set a timer for two minutes, for 11 minutes, for 20 minutes, for however much time I actually have to sit with myself. How hard is it to set a timer or to just go and, and do the thing and let it take as long as it takes? Every morning, just sit with myself. How hard is it? I think the hardest part is the starting, which is an ADHD thing. And the other hard part is uh, the same hard part for everybody else with meditation, which is, you know, I'm supposed to quiet my mind, but I can't because they're the fucking jibber jabber. The, you know, anxiety brain will just bring up every little issue or... Have me think about the, the most random ass shit. Like, why are you here? <laughs> who told you I who told you we needed you right now? Um, so I can understand how there are parts that feel hard, but there are parts that feel hard, and when I get into the habit of doing it, or when I have like a habit trigger so I have this um, pillow that I use for meditation a meditation pillow that I sit on um, I haven't used it in a while actually for meditation but um, you know if I were every night to get into the habit of oh I have to put my meditation pillow by my door before I go to bed so that I remember in the morning oh there's my meditation pillow I gotta do that let me just grab it and go fucking do it. There are ways to set set yourself up so that, you know, it's like, you know, uh, someone in the army knowing that when they roll out of bed in the morning, the first thing they have to do is very quickly put on their shoes because they have to go and 
get ready and then go take a run, you know, take a run in the first thing in the morning. And you, you put your shoes in a place where they're going to be easily accessible and you get in the habit of when my shoes are here, then my body, like muscle memory, becomes I mean, uh, it's a habit. You you habituate. Your body gets used to doing that thing, and then it doesn't. It's not so hard anymore. The hardest part is getting yourself to start. Well, there it is. The other hard part is quieting your mind. Let your mind jibber jabber, and then say, "Okay, I'm I'm ready to hear what you have to say now." I've been doing a lot of talking. I'm ready to hear what you have to say now. And it only takes, I mean, when you're when you're quieting your mind in your in your head, saying, I'm ready to hear what you have to say, and you drop in. And you just wait. Something will come up and you'll follow that little thought, you'll follow that, that yellow brick road. And it just, it, it goes so quickly. It's like spirits right there waiting. So seeing myself doing this over and over of getting into a, the easy, comfortable, numb habit, the dissociating habit of scrolling through Instagram, um, you know, saying that I'm finding content that is relevant to my niche is also um, not the first thing that I do need to do in the morning. So it's like I need to go and leave my phone somewhere else. Now that I've I'm quitting my job, um, once I have. Once I'm, you know, past my last day and I've and I'm done with that shit and I don't need to wake up at a certain time in the morning, I feel like putting my phone in a place where it's beyond my meditation pillow. So I encounter my meditation pillow first. It's gonna be like key. So that I don't feel like I'm I'm rotating back into the habit that I think destroyed me the first time, honestly. Because it's it's great as a as a person with ADHD to get some sucked into something you're interested in, and when you notice that it's actually hurting all of your the rest of you, you know, all of your creativity is getting sucked into that one thing, and you're not making videos anymore, you're not podcasting anymore, you're not posting to Pinterest or whatever, you find yourself losing steam for other things because what you're actually focusing on um, is is only you know when you've saved up I've, I've got like six or seven reels that are ready to go that's a whole week's worth I don't have to do that again for a week I don't have to create any more reels for a whole week what am I gonna do what am I gonna do for seven days I'm gonna do this. I'm going to do everything else that I that I feel creatively interested in. And the way that I do that, without getting bogged down in, what do I do today? And oh my gosh, I don't have anything to say. I don't know what to say. I don't know what to focus on. What 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 I need to what's my message for today? I get in, I develop the discipline, which is not as rigid as I thought. Develop the discipline very easily by using what my, what my body does best, which is developing muscle memory so that I get into a new habit of bringing myself into that space of silence, stillness, and spaciousness <laughs> so I can 
receive my intuitive wisdom, receive guidance from spirit for just today, for just what I need to get done today. And then I'm managed. I've managed to manage myself with one different thing that, I, that I'm doing. And then spirit comes in, tells me what to do, and I say, I'm in service to you. Okay, that's what I'm gonna talk about today. That's what I'm gonna do today. That's what I'm gonna focus on today. Cool, thank you, received. It could be so easy, but in our heads, it's the roller coaster. In our heads, we make it hard. In our heads, it becomes a, um, like a, a strong G-forces situation where we're feeling like we're getting pulled into something. When in actuality, uh, it's, it's a part of, it's a part of the orbit. You get pulled into something because you're meant, because that's the right time to get pulled into it. And then you get pulled out. I felt myself, and that's why I created this video, because I needed to do something else with my phone, with my time, with my voice, with my attitude, is I needed to feel myself saying, hey, you were getting pulled by those G-forces then, but you don't need to do that every single day, just because it's easy and it's fun. Um, there are a lot of other things that are easy and fun. I love this. I love doing this. I love being here with y'all right now. Easy, fun. There are a lot of other things that are easy and fun that I'm interested in doing that, um, that I can give as a spiritpreneur, that I can share, that is in service to what I'm, you know, what, and I felt myself saying, you need to get off. You need to not do that today because there's something else. So I'm going to go do my little meditation. Actually, I have to go to work soon, I think. Ooh, I'm like looking, trying to see what time it is. I have to go to work soon. But I'm going to go do my little meditation because I haven't yet. And that will help me just get right for the rest of the day, for, for the feelings that I want to anchor. And now I know. Now I know I, I, I can pull myself out and not feel like I'm getting sucked in to a certain part of the roller coaster journey or like I'm falling off, like I've <laughs> fallen out. And... <sighs> I can create new habits, I can create new healing habits that heal the version of me that is afraid I will fail again, that I'll fail again at being the spiritpreneur that I know that I can be. Let me know if y'all want me to talk about this failure because <laughs> I probably will but um, let me know if you have any specific questions about starting on the spiritpreneur journey about creating new habits about being a spiritpreneur with ADHD I am here in service and I know that um, spirit is gonna tell me what to talk about when y'all need to hear it and at the same time, I mean, this isn't just meant to be me, you know, speaking into the abyss. This is meant to be a way to connect with other spiritpreneurs on this journey and to not only guide, but to learn together and to build community because there's nothing worse than doing something crazy and big and powerful I'm doing it alone that's there's nothing worse 
I love you. Thank you for joining me. Thank you for spending time with me. Your time is so precious and valuable and I value your presence here with me. I love you so much. I would love to see you in the Vibrant Coven. Uh, if you go to patreon.com slash Vibrant Coven, I would love to see you in even the community tier where we meet once a month and we just do some really cool, I mean, tapping into spirit shit. And I'm just, I'm excited to, to do more of it. I'm excited to get back into it and I want you there. I want you there if you want to be there. Thank you. You are deserving of all the love you desire. You are deserving of the confidence in yourself to do what it is that you desire to do through love. Ooh. Ooh. New sign off. New, new sign off. Who dis? Ah. All right. Have a beautiful, wonderful rest of your day. You deserve that too.